available. Hi. So for my birthday, I received this Ozark Trail 12 piece camping tool set. And hey, I figured since the holidays are getting ready to hit, you're gonna be seeing these in Walmart if you're not already. Hey, let's take a look. There might be something decent in here. It might be worth it. Or it might just all be junk. But there might be something good inside. We'll find out. Let's take a look. Of course, we know this might not be the best quality stuff, but hey, you know what? There might be a hidden gem in here. You never know, right? It says 12 pieces. We'll find out what these 12 pieces are. using this so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine uh says there's three sheaths so maybe that makes 12 i don't know so we got our machete make sure i'm in camera frame here okay got our got our machete got our fixed blade knife with the wrapped handle got our little hatchet with the wrapped handle and the hex uh, wrenches there I'm gonna guess these are all some sort of stainless We've got our cordage We've got a couple D rings here uh, this is rated for 60 pounds We've got a Ferro rod, flashlight, if I can get this out, wet stone, sharpening stone, yeah, and then yep, we've got the three sheaths. It says the flashlight is 180 lumens with a high, medium, and low, sorry, high, low, and flash mode uh, with a 60 meter distance and a two hour runtime. I'm not going to test all that, but we'll test a few things. And then, of course, this is one of the features of the machete is a sheath included in a comfortable handle. Well, I'm not sure those are really features, but okay. Uh, these D rings here. Uh, are six centimeters and as I said before they're not rated for climbing but good for 60 pounds allegedly we've got our hatchet there which is uh, the wrenches on there are three eighths half inch and five eighths and then got a little serrated combination serrated and straight edge fixed blade knife does not say if what type of steel any of these are made out of. I'm going to guess some sort of stainless. And it doesn't say what type of cordage this is, but we'll cut it and see if it's like a 550 or something else. Okay, we'll go ahead and check the edges of these blades. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Of course, I know I'm not the best, but. Well, maybe. Could be better. Let's check on the arm here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not really even taking off arm hair. That's on the knife. Let's check the machete. Yeah, mache seems better. Eh, still not great though. Better, but not great. Yeah, not great on the machete either. Doubt the hatchet's gonna do anything. <laughs> the hatchet 
the hatchet's the sharpest of them all. The hatchet actually, did you see that? The hatchet shaved arm hair and cut the paper. That caught me off guard. And speaking of guards, here's the sheaths for the uh, blades. The hatchet one's got a little little belt loop on it. They're all, here this one's Velcro. The machete one, oh, sorry, getting tangled up there. Yeah, machete one's got a belt loop as well. Looks like it's got three kind of slips there, I guess, to put your uh, ferro rod and your whetstone there. Uh, yeah, basic kind of Cordura sheath. And then the knife sheath as well. It's got a single pouch there. And it looks like it's got a little plastic insert for the knife as well. Taking a closer look at the ferro rod here. There it is. It's got a coating on it. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a little strip there, which I assume that's a little strip of magnesium. I'm gonna see how well these uh, strike on. These blades strike this ferro rod. Oh no, my mistake. This is magnesium. And the little section here is the ferro rod. All right, so what kind of cordage we're dealing with here. So it does appear what we got in here. Well, it does not appear to be. Oh, never mind. Sorry, my mistake. So it is the 550 cord. Okay, so it says right there that these are rated for 60 pounds. So. This five gallon bucket, we're gonna give it a shot. Let me get the camera steady. using the paracord from the, the kit too. So, seems to held up fine. It's a five gallon bucket of water, so that's uh, 40 pounds. So, at 40 pounds, seems okay. Guess let's see how the machete does at some machete work. Gonna take down these branches anyway. Is that one? No, that one's out of frame. Got the little hatchet.
as the green wood. Yeah, it's green wood, but you can't really get down for a lot of control because you got the serrations there. But serrations aren't even the greatest for cutting. Yeah, decent, uh, decent notch out of that. And out of that side. wondering the tang on the machete oh it does go all the way down okay so for the machete I've got an overall length of 16 inches with yeah 10 inch blade uh, knife you've got what is that about a nine and a quarter with a five inch blade and the hatchet overall length 10 inch um, head four inch and cutting edge of about three and a quarter hey good news the flashlight did come with batteries so let's test it out All right, this is, I don't know which mode this is. Uh, how do I work this? So, okay, it's a twist, I guess. It's pretty good for the garage. How do I, okay, so I'm twisting it, I get a wide beam, very wide beam. And you can see a lot with this. How do I get the flash? Oh, sorry, it's a push-pull to get it. Okay. Okay, but how do I get the flash? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so it's a high-low. It's a high-low and a push-pull to increase the uh, diameter of the beam. Gotcha. Alright, now we're going to do my bucket test, and if it survives, I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on the kit. I mean, I'll give you my final thoughts anyway, but you know what I mean. See you in 15 -ish minutes or so. Alright, 15 minutes, and it's hey, still going. Okay. Works for me. Ugh, sounds squishy. give you my thoughts about these all right so a little update about the flashlight um after the test i took it apart water came out i mean it was still working but water came out maybe it was from me doing this maybe it's from 
soaking in there. I don't know, but it was still working. So how long it would last after being drenched, I don't know, but it's working for a little bit. So let's review the individual parts of the kit. The flashlight, uh, as long as you don't get it wet, uh, you know, I didn't test the two hours, but it came with the batteries. So as long as you don't get it wet, um, I would say, yeah, probably seven and a half, but because of the non-waterproofness, um, it's going to get a four, four out of 10. Let's go for the, the ferrule rod here. Uh, ferrule rod, it's, it's tiny. It's mostly magnesium with the little ferrule rod strip. Uh, I'm going to give it a five out of 10. The, uh, the D rings here, these are going to get a seven out of 10. They, they hold pretty well. The cordage, this 550 cord, um, it's going to get a price hmm, six and a half out of 10. You didn't see me test this whetstone. Uh, it's just a basic whetstone. It's going to put a working edge on your on your blade. Nothing special. Again, six out of ten. The sheaths, four and a half out of ten. They're not they're not great. They're workable. You know, not going to hold up in the long term, but for just storage, they're fine. Let's go to the the blades themselves. Uh, for batoning, this one was actually pretty good, and it struck the ferro rod okay. Handle lame. This paracord wrap was already sliding pretty quickly. The blade wasn't great. The serrations suck. This is gonna get uh, three and a half out of ten. Now the the machete. Yeah, again, was it sharp? Yeah, it didn't come sharp. The handle didn't come loose from the batoning. Just use an axe, bro. I know. But it is a full tank. That's nice. But wasn't real sharp. D batoned okay, but not great. Uh, I don't know. It's probably going to get 5.5 out of 10. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that uncomfortable. The I think this of the bladed stuff, the star is actually probably this. I didn't wrench on anything. Probably should have done that, but oh well. Uh, this was actually the sharpest. It chopped good. It even shook the ferro rod. Uh, even though it's the same wrap, it didn't slide. It felt okay. Uh, this, you know, is the star. It's it, probably 6.75 out of 10. So the kit as a whole, overall, collectively, I'd probably say okay, so it's a few hours later and I think I want to revise my my ratings on this stuff um, so I'm gonna edit out my original ratings uh, I guess some people say I'm too nice with some of my ratings and they might be right so I was thinking about it I'm probably yeah gonna give this like overall like really probably revise it down to a four overall like the hatchet it's okay. The hatchet's okay, except for the handle. The flashlight, it's okay, except for, you know, the lack of waterproofness. The the D-rings and the cordage, they're, they're decent. The ferro rods, meh, and the, la the rest of the stuff, it's like, well, it's better than nothing. So, like, overall, as a package, probably four, but if you give it a if, if you knew what you're going getting into, so it's like, okay, yeah, I know what I'm getting into. Maybe that's still like a six, but like just as an overall, yeah, like a four. So, I mean, yeah, it's like the stuff, it's, it's okay, but yeah, not great. Piece of it, okay, but overall not great. Not great, but I mean, it's better than nothing in an emergency. It, it might be a good... Uh, starter gift for somebody if you want but this i think this is might be the yeah this and the flashlight as long as you're going to use it just as a around the house flashlight are probably the best things in that kit 
So again, yeah, just gotta say, you know, take that for what you will. Get it as a gift. Might be okay for somebody. But I wouldn't bet your life in a, you know, zombie apocalypse on this stuff. So get outside. Enjoy life. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment. Check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit.